Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share some tips on how to structure your response for the materiality assessment. We talk about risk and approach in other videos. If you're interested, you can find the link in the description. The users of the financial statements, which may include the shareholders, investors, the bank, etc., use the financial statements to make decisions. Through performing an audit, the auditor will determine whether the financial statements contain any material misstatement that will impact decision making. Materiality should focus on the users of the financial statements. To address this type of AO, the first step is to identify the users of the financial statement and their objectives. For example, the bank may be concerned about whether the company can make interest and principal payments. You can use bullet points to structure your discussion. The second step is to choose a base for materiality based on your users and their objectives. For example, if the bank is the primary user, materiality can be based on normalized income before tax because income is a good indicator for profitability and the company's ability to repay any interest and principal payments. Once you have chosen a base, you should choose a materiality percentage based on professional judgment and the user's objectives. For example, it may be 5% of normalized income before tax. Don't forget to adjust materiality base for accounting errors and any unusual or non-recurring items prior to calculating the overall materiality. Finally, you may also need to determine the performance materiality and specific materiality. Please pay attention to the triggers in the case to determine whether this is necessary. For this type of AO, please remember to use case facts in your analysis and to consider the users when choosing the base for materiality. Don't forget to incorporate any adjustments for financial reporting issues, otherwise your calculation will not be accurate. Please remember to calculate the materiality if sufficient information is given. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best on your CPA journey.